Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to use PyDroid 3 in your Android smartphone to write programs in Python. As you can see, PyDroid 3 is already installed in my machine. To install this application, a simple search in the Play Store will give you the appropriate link to install the PyDroid 3 ID for writing Python programs. After installing PyDroid 3, you need to give uh, some permission to access your storage memory uh, that is needed for saving your programs for later usage and for sending the programs to us uh, over WeLearn for evaluation. So as you can see, the final installation is happening in my, in my smartphone. It may take some time. As you can see, uh, now the installation is complete. Now I'm going to uh, write uh, some simple programs and we'll show you how to make a zip file with the program for submission in the WeLearn. Now I'm writing a simple program to print the message, hello. Now to uh, execute the code, you just need to press this play button and you will see that the corresponding message hello is getting printed here. Now to save the file, uh, now I mean using this PyDroid 3, if you write the assignment programs, uh, it will be save it it needs to be saved in the .py format and to save that you need to go to here and then you need to come to save and then uh, the software the application will be asking for the permission uh, to access the photos medias and files on your device I guess it's okay to grant that application now I'm going to store the application here in a new folder say CS1101 then say uh, A1 and then I'm going to select this folder and I need to rename I mean I can leave it with the new file.py but I can rename the file as well so a1.py is the name of the file as you can see here the name of the file is now a1.p1 and it is stored in the cs1101 assignment folder uh, of course you can write so many other codes as well so many other lines as well there are many other applications uh, any uh, any i mean many python specific applications are available here you may uh, start uh, exploring them now to access the file for further use uh, I mean for sending us uh, over we learn what you need to do is you need to go to here in the storage as you can see so as you can see CS1101 uh, hyphen a1 is the folder that I have created this is the py file uh, that has been created I can show you what the file actually looks like as you can see it only contains print hello in quotes and in first bracket now to submit this folder you need to uh, make a zip file out of it so to make a zip file in a new MIUI interface you just need to select that folder you need to come to this more and then you need to press this compress uh, key by default it will create a file with the same name with an extension dot zip so now as you can see a zip file is created here that has been named as cs1101 a1.zip so using this i hope you will be able to uh, write your python programs using pydroid 3 and i hope it will be useful for you to uh, 
to get the idea how to make a zip file with the .py files that has been created using PyDroid 3. Also, another thing you can do is if in the subsequent uh, assignments, if there is the need to submit multiple .py files, what you can do is you can write, I mean you can have multiple uh, files as well. If I run, so one program is printing hi and another program is printing hello. This is just for the sake of uh, showing you. Now again, if I, I am storing this file in the same folder, so so if I give the name as A2, then as you can see here, you can see a1.py and a2.py are there in the same folder cs1101. Dot uh, hyphen a1 so again if you want to make a zip file out of it you just need to follow the same procedure so i hope this video will help you to uh, help you clear the doubts on how to uh, use pydroid 3 and how to make the zip file uh, that you can submit in the we learn thank you